CLNS Media Patriots Roundtable. I'm your host, Nick Qualia, sitting here with Marvin Zahn and with Mike Molyneux. We got some news this week with the team. The Patriots lost some guys. They lost six guys, as of now, unless I missed anybody, who are dis- who choosing to sit out the season due to COVID-19. And we'll get more into whether or not you care. I can't imagine you guys care if these guys backed out due to COVID reasons. But, guys, with this news, with, this, with the names dropping, Dante Hightower, Marcus Ken, Patrick Chung, Brandon Bolden, uh, and then two other guys, uh, Najee Torin. Am I pronouncing that right? O- offensive think. line reserve. I think so. <laughs> and Danny Vital. Two okay. other guys. Guys, with the names being said, the question is, do your expectations drop for the team at all with the names? Because, I mean, there were some pretty big names on that list that dropped. And one name who actually is says he's staying, I don't necessarily 100% believe that at the moment. Uh, David Andrews, the starting center who had a, a blood clot in his lung last year, is not going to opt out in the season, so he says right now. So, guys, the question, do your expectations for this team drop at all with the names who have backed out of the 2020 season due to COVID-19? Marlon, let's start with you. What do you think? You, when you lose starters to your team, the, the, your team takes a hit no matter what. And now we're talking about a guy like Dante Hightower that you're losing, who in a sense is your quarterback of the defense. He's the one who's calling out the plays defensively. And that's huge. That's a huge piece you're missing in, not only as the, a great talent that he is, but as, also as a leader. You, we, we've seen this team without Dante Hightower, and we've seen how much they miss not having him on this team. You got a guy like Patrick Chung. He's another guy who brings toughness to this team, who brings leadership to this team, a guy that Belichick trusts in pivotal situations, <clears throat> excuse me, that you lose in the situation. And then Marcus Cannon. Nick, you've been talking about all, all offseason how you like this offensive line. And you think that because of this offensive line, they're healthy and they're ready to go. Now you, now you lose your right tackle in, Mar- um, in Marcus Cannon. Who's going to be the guy to step up and replace him? And you don't have, you know, Dante Skarnecki there to really push, put things together. And he's always good at putting guys in roles that they're, that they're not good at. You know, rumors are out there that Newhouse might be in town again just due to the fact that you need more bodies. So, yes, it is a this little show, concerning. This show, sorry, <laughs> it is a Marshall Newhouse fan show. I just want to put it out there. Mark, keep going. <laughs> So, yeah, Newhouse and all of these guys coming in, people trying to fill in roles. And last week I talked about how this linebacker core is going to be something that I'm very optimistic about. And the reason why is because you had Dante Hightower there, and he was going to lead these young guys, the Chase Winovich, the Bentleys, Uche, Jennings, all of these guys were going to learn from him. Now he's gone, and they have to step up a lot bigger. So it's – the team does take a dip, I think, expectation-wise, due to lo- losing some leaders. But it's not the it's not the end of the world. And uh, one thing I want to bring up also is all these players that are opting out, whether they're from the Patriots or not, I commend them and I wish them all the best of luck. Look, these players are not our slaves. If they feel like they need to take care of their family and they need to take care of their health, then so be it. That's what they should do, and I commend it. It's bigger than football. We all want sports. We don't need sports. 100%. And that is a problem. I mean, obviously, there are people in with everything, especially in the media. You, you get most of these comments from Twitter. You see a lot of people just it's just not the right mindset to have when a guy opts out on the season because of a pandemic. Guys, this is a pandemic happening. If you are going to be upset at a guy like Dante Hightower, who is putting his newborn kid first, his immune-compromised infant child first, if you're going to be mad at Marcus Cannon, who had cancer for backing out on the season, your mind is not in the right place. They're taking this seriously, and they should be taking this seriously. It is crazy to me that anybody could be upset at any of these players for backing out. Mike, what do you think? Do your expectations drop? Yeah, same thing that you guys have said that I want to agree with first and foremost. 
players that are opting out, you know, I don't hold it against them at all. You know, I know there's people out there in this crazy world we live in. There's people out there who probably think, oh, it's not that serious. They can play. They'll be fine. Like, don't worry about anybody else. Worry about yourself in your own situation. And what these players who are choosing to opt out are doing is worrying about their own situation, whether they've had their own health issues that they've dealt with or are dealing with, or whether they have family that they need to watch out for. So like Mark said, I commend anybody who's choosing to opt out, you know, to make sure themselves and their family is safe. You know, sports is great. Sports is good to watch. It's good to play. But there's bigger things taking place in this world uh, than, than playing a sport right now. With that being said, losing Cannon, losing Hightower, losing Chung, huge, 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 huge. Even Brandon Bolden to an extent. You're talking about guys who have been around uh, this team for, for a while, you know, veterans who provide leadership. Uh, especially defensively, you're talking about Chung and Hightower who've been around for several years now, and they're probably two of the defensive leaders. Uh, you want those guys, you know, if you're getting your team rolling around, you want guys out there who can still contribute and, and, and play a solid role, but also be leaders for the young guys that you're bringing along on the team. So not having them will be huge. But if there's one team that we know is going to combat that and, you know, find people to try to fill the role and still be a solid team when the season starts, it's going to be the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick is, is going to put his best foot forward and trying to find guys to step up and replace those those men. Um, and then on the offensive line, Cannon in the same situation. I know over the years, I remember back in the day when Marvin and I doing the Patriots postgame show, oh, man, we used to roast, well, Marvin especially used to get at Marcus Cannon because, you know, he's had his ups and downs. Wait, 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 when, he, when he was on the left side, when he's he was replacing Solder that season, that was bad. Yeah. He's had his ups and downs during his Patriots career. But at the end of the day, you're talking about a guy who is a veteran who's been around. You know, he's learned from Dante Starnecchia over the years. You know, he's a guy that, that provides some leadership. So, you know, Patriots have lost some key pieces. And, yes, will they feel the loss of those pieces? Absolutely. But at the same time, you have to understand why they're stepping away. And if there's going to be football, if there's going to be sports, if there's going to be a season, uh, I believe uh, – Bill Belichick will do what he, he needs to do uh, to put new people in those places to fill those voids. I wouldn't be shocked if more veterans, not not from a Patriots perspective, but if more veterans back out on the season. I mean, this season alone, in especially if you've got somebody in your household who is immune compromised, I think that's the word. I'm going to keep saying that. I think that's the word, but you know what I mean. If you have to, somebody that you have to worry about at home and you're a veteran, you've been paid before, I think they still make $150,000 if they back out due to COVID. So it's almost like, why wouldn't you back out just to be safe? Right? Like, that's that's a question I, I'm sure a lot of these veterans, after, after the dominoes have already started to fall and you've got guys, respected guys like Patrick Chung, Dante Hightower backing out on the season, I bet some other veterans are thinking now, I might do this too. That might be a real possibility. By the way, $20 million plus north now in cap space. Yeah. You got get Clowney. Go get him. Oh, bring him at home least home. on a one-year deal. Throw the throw the all the money at him. And I'm half expecting Marshall Newhouse to come back now because he's been here before. Which sucks. But I don't know who's gonna play on the right sucks side. Is a, sucks is an understatement. It's not great. If you want to go back, we should make a montage of all the times Mike was upset last year at Marshall Newhouse. <laughs> I got two, got two rapid questions for you guys. One yeah. question. Do you guys believe that, you know, a lot more players are opting out after they've seen what happened with the Marlins a couple of days before? I think it plays a factor. You think yep. it plays a factor? Sit your mind. They're taking notice. Second question. If Tom Brady was the quarterback for the New England Patriots with six players have opted out, I love that question because thinking about it, it's tough. I kind of feel like they might have stayed with having I Tom Brady as the quarterback. I think if Tom Brady is the quarterback of this team, I don't think there's six players that are opting out right now. I don't think it makes a difference. I don't think it I makes think, difference. I think it might because I think some of them were look, would look at this team with Tom Brady on it like, okay, we're a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Now with Cam Newton, you don't know how he's going to be. There's a question. Is it worth playing for a team this year with this pandemic happening if a Super Bowl ring really might not even be in the picture? Is it worth it? 
you're still playing for the greatest coach of all time. So I don't think it, it plays a factor. I don't think if Tom Brady was here or not, it would play a factor. Yeah, does Tom Brady enhance chances? Sure. But you're getting coached. The team is getting coached by the great Bill Belichick. And players are still deciding to step away. So, And real quick before we wrap this up, though, I mean, you brought up, you guys both brought up Scar, uh, Scar Necky of backing out or retiring, backing out. He retired. I think that is a, that's much more important now, now that Marcus Cannon backed off, because now you don't have arguably one of the greatest offensive line coaches that's ever been in the NFL helping out whatever puzzle piece that you're trying to fit in there at the right tackle spot. So I think losing Skarnecki now is that much more of a of a massive loss. I think it is. But losing these guys regardless, I mean, you lost some big names. It's de- It might not take a massive hit, especially because you got Bill Belichick, so you, you still got to trust the team's going to be good. But losing these guys still should worry you at least a little bit, especially the big name I think we're all in agreement here is Dante Hightower. Losing Hightower is a massive hit. 